What's up YouTube, it's me DB, and today I'm starting my brand new series called DB Cooks, where I will make for you guys some awesome recipes, uh, using my own cooking skills, of course. Uh, today we're going to be making a classic recipe by Jacques Pepin, called the Pasta, Ham, and Vegetable Gratin. As you can see here, it's featured in his book called Fast Food My Way, it's available now at your local bookstore, or you can borrow it from your local library, too. You can probably get it online as well. And we started off by having a pot the boiling over here. And we're going to add about one and a half cups of dry, one and, excuse me, one and three-fourths cups of pasta shells. So you can also use penne if you want to as well. So, we pop open the box. I'm actually going to use the whole box in this recipe. And I'm going to do this recipe, well, my way. You can follow my way if you want to. Alright. So it is starting to bubble up that you do want to have your water at boiling temperature when you pour in your pasta. So we're going to do that right now. Oh, the pasta shells are right in. I'm going to give it a stir. I may be using this uh, for right now. And as you can see, all of this white, that's all the starch that comes from the pasta when it uh, goes into the water. So you don't really want to have any of that stuff because with the starch, it'll be, start to become stiff and doesn't taste as good. Alright, so... Next up, so we have to stir a little bit. So we're going to go for al dente. As according to the book, it says it'll take about 12 minutes for al dente. But according to the box here, it should be about uh, 8 minutes or so. Cut. So, Alright, so we're going to set the timer on the oven here for about 8 minutes. Uh, basically what you need to do. So you need to hit your kitchen timer and press the number 8 and then the start button. And when we come back, I'll have more awesome stuff with this dish for you. So stick around. Get your official DB Reviews trucker hat along with many other great DB YouTube items at the official DB YouTube store. Link is on your screen right now or in the description down below. Welcome back. Now that our pasta is done, we're going to take it over to the sink. But be very careful, folks. This pot is still steaming hot. And I'm pouring us the steam um, all the way around. I think I did a pretty gosh darn good job getting the least out of it. Kind of tough to see when you have a steam. Next, uh, we're going to make the sauce. Uh, and to do that, you first need two very simple but very key ingredients. You're going to need some butter, about two tablespoons. You're going to dip it into a pan right there and let it melt. Uh, swirl it all around with your metal fork metal, uh, a wooden spoon. Just like that. And then, once it's all good and melted, you're gonna need about two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. This is what we chefs like to call a roux. And no, I'm not talking about the Winnie the Pooh character. Winnie the Pooh character. So you stir around the flour into the butter. And mix and mix it all up well, just like this. And it'll start to form the, the roux. And also with the roux, you want to make sure to cook out some of that floury taste. To, that's not going to be uh, working in your sauces uh, when you make the roux here. Now we're going to add all the other
other ingredients. Uh, so you need about uh, two cups of milk and about half a cup of cream. The recipe called for heavy cream, but I had to use light cream, which will still work. So I'm going to pour that. Next, uh, we're going to add the, I guess we're going to add the corn. This recipe called for three-fourths of a cup of corn. I'm going to stir all that in. Alright, so make sure that you get as much as you can because you don't want to leave out any of the good stuff whenever you're cooking. And the good stuff can be any of the stuff that you previously... No, don't do that. And as you're stirring your sauce, uh, you're going to start to feel it tighten up. Uh, that's a really good thing though for sauces. That helps the taste too. So, when you see the sauce bubble up, you know that's it's going to get tightened and thick. That's uh, the goal that you need in order to make a really, really good type of sauce. Now I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese. And this should help the sauce tighten up while you're stirring it. So you want to add a little bit at a time to help you go along. Next, we're going to add the ham. There you go, just like this. Make sure, again, make sure to get all the good stuff out. You don't want to be leaving any good stuff. Gonna stir it right into our cheese sauce. I tell you folks, this sauce is looking good. Alright, so. That's all incorporated. So when we add the peas, we're going to stir, but we're going to be careful about it so that the peas don't get squashed. And you can use the frozen peas if you want to, just like I do here. Alright. Now you see? You want to be very, very careful when uh, working with peas in a sauce. Uh, you don't want to get them all squashed. Uh, otherwise, you turn your sauce into pea soup. And that's not what we're making here today. Next up, we add the cooked noodles. We have a lot here, so oh, there we go. Up it right on in. You want to make sure that your noodles uh, are all, all coated. I'm gonna break them up and we're gonna mix them in just like this. You see how I'm doing an over over under routine? It's a great way uh, to make uh, anything with a sauce uh, to use this kind of stirring technique. Again, be careful of the peas. Uh, recipe and uh, this just looks fantastic then when we come back I'll tell you how it tastes. The YouTube uh, channel proudly supports the Children's Hospital of Boston, Massachusetts. Rated number one in the pediatric hospitals list by U.S. News and World Report. You can create your own child success story by going to childrenshospital.org until every child is well. Take a little scoopful here. It's really good. Really fast, really excellent tasting recipe. This is a good recipe for you to use if you need to make a quick meal and you were too busy to make a regular supper dish. So this is a perfect meal. Thank you all so much for joining me. I want to send a very special thank you to my dad, my sous chef for today. 
and I'll join you guys uh, next time. What will I be cooking next? I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let you guys answer that question. So please leave me in the, in the comment section down below, leave me a simple recipe that I could do for the next episode of DB Cooks. Till then, I'm DB, and I hope you all liked this video. Please make sure to leave a like button. Leave a like if you did, and don't forget to check out my links in the description if you're watching on YouTube. I'll also have the links at the end of the video if you're watching on YouTube and also on Facebook or Google+. Plus. And I'll also share a link to this video on Twitter as well. So, I'm DB, and I am out. We'll see y'all next time.